I developed this little business from doing up antique furniture. A man came in here one day about 10 years ago with a, an old rocking horse. It was laying here in the workshop for two or three weeks. So I took it apart and I realised that I could make one of these myself. And uh, I just, just was fascinated with it. You make the body. The body is a hollow rectangle or box that can be used for a, a time capsule. Then you make the legs and you make the head. The head is the most difficult part of it. I'm working on that one there. I don't know whether I'll ever get a head out of it properly, but I'll, I'll have to work on it. It's very time consuming. And you want very sharp chisels. It takes approximately 80 hours to 100 hours. That's how many days is that, about 12 or 15 days. But I give myself maybe a couple of months to do it. Come on, I'm going at the one horse. You have a, a plan in your head and that's, you have to work, work to your plan. It's a combination of artistic and practical. It depends on the timber, but in hardwoods it lasts for generations. A couple of hundred years anyway, you know. The white, the uh, ordinary pine one won't last. It'll last as long as the houses that are being built today will last. It's a really big business in England, but it hasn't taken on here as much. But they were in their prime in the last in the 18th, 19th, 18th century. Queen Victoria was a great promoter of the rocking horse. She had a horse in her own studio. Christmas is extremely busy now at the minute. I have a few deliveries to make. Dublin, Tipperary, Cork, Waterford. So I'm getting around. When I deliver to a house, uh, the first one comes out as uh, possibly the grandchild and the excitement and the amazement. Uh, can I take off the saddle? Can I take off the harness? Please, Daddy, let me up now. You cannot keep the children off the horses. They love getting up. <laughs> 